Okay, so what's on the workbench this week? Slowly but surely, I've spray painted what's going to be the cycle with this old giant of Albion. The only really new addition is the cute little gimpy guy on foot. It's a head from the Ungo sprue. And uh, he's removable because I might use this, you know, for another purpose, for another. Uh, for Warriors of Chaos, for example. Well, actually, even that, I could still probably keep him there. Oh well, nothing wrong with a bit of flexibility. Maybe I could use it as a familiar or something. He's quite cute. The star of the week is undoubtedly the level 4 saucer, which has taken now three or four weeks to paint, with half an hour here, half an hour there. might have gone wild in the glazing but it's an interesting combo, I can't believe anyone else has this model I got rid of the um, level 4 lord on the disc, I didn't really like him so uh, if anyone wants to make an offer they can have him, he's lightly spray painted black the shield I was quite pleased about, it's the only time I've actually done blending all the way up so it looks a bit more integrated uh, than most of my other painting bit of oops bit of light mottling on top of the slithery arm whatever that is and I probably should have gone a bit more yellow on the flames they look a bit red but perhaps we could argue that when whatever chemical whatever metal burns off uh, the golden disc that's what the colour flame would be from my GCSE science. Um, the face, not overly pleased with. Oh, let's see what focuses. Come on, focus. Yeah, face is alright. And I just try to keep it sort of simple. I was pleased with the red. I started off with a very, very, very dark base. I even mixed black in with Mechrite red. Um, so that was a tip from the most recent White Dwarf. So they are getting better with their painting tips. I never used to bother buying White Dwarf. It went through a bit of a crap period. Anyway, moving on. The only thing new with uh, those Chaos Knights is that I uh, put snow on their bases. Nothing dramatic there. And then we come to the next project that I seem to be involved in. Which is, I think I've got so many Chaos models, there's no point in me not having fun with the beasts. So in case anyone is deciding whether to get the Angles, I thought I would give you a, a close-up. They are really good models. Really good models. Really well animated. Look at that. Or well, at least you can animate them well. I don't know how well they'll paint up, but uh, they look quite fun. I like the little pot bellies. They look like evil marmots on speed. So, yeah, I'm going to do two packs of these. Maybe even four sets of skirmishes or five. Oh, this is the one who looks like he needs a poo. Why is the nearest bush? Then in terms of um, chariots, I've already got some orc chariots, and I'm not going to buy the 20 quid ones. So I just put that shield on, which I suppose even when it becomes an orky thing, you will notice. And um, I happen to have five or four angle from the old set, so I just use the spears and the shield uh, to do a kind of Trojan War look. Which is quite funny. And then when the battalion box comes out, whenever it comes out, I understand they're having problems. Um, I'll put um, a Vestigor there. And these are the other two riders. Their faces look very anxious, I don't understand what the issue is.
Anyway, I'm not even going to bother spray painting this army. I'm just going to assemble it to play with and see how things go. I've got so much else to paint. And so little time. And then this little fella. I stripped him using Nitromores. And now, uh... I think I'm going to paint him up to be part of my blue and white uh, Empire Spearman unit. He could be the kind of... Uh... What's the word? Mascot. Drummer. And also, I am being won over to the dark side of 40k slowly. And this is a... An old... Bits and pieces of an old orc knob that I once painted about 15 years ago. 10 years ago, probably. And, um... Bit of a conversion coming along here. I think power claws are the way to go in 40k. If you're an orc. And that's it. Have a good week.